quarantine, day 10, Wednesday, March 25th. I've got lots of free new workouts with all the apps and subscriptions, the beach body, all of it's free. So I've been doing lots of working out. So that means lots of sweets. Today, we're gonna to be baking cookies. Two sevenths of this cookie is made with flour. The remaining part is made with butter and chocolate chip to the ratio of three to seven. The chocolate chips weigh 200 grams more than the butter. What is the total mass of this cookie? What up my quarantine people? Back at it again. And today we are talking about cookies. So I just want to dive right in so I can get to eating. As always, you know we love our sides check strategy here at in quarantine mass sponsored by instruct the beat so we're going to start with our statement and our statement's going to say the total mass ooh that is made my handwriting is great today uh that was sarcasm of the cookie is blank okay in my units for grams so i'm going to go ahead and put grams right there now i know i'm looking for anything about grams or the mass now some people confuse mass and weight. Um, you're going to get to that middle school and high school. Unless you're already there, you should already know if you're watching this or if you're an adult. Uh, weight is your mass, including the force of acceleration of gravity on it. Mass is just how much stuff makes you up. So it is actually different, although most people use it interchangeably. So we need to identify anything about what they told us about cookies. Oh, sorry, I forgot one more thing. Cookies, grams, or mass, right? This is the the guiding light to everything I'm trying to solve. I began with the end in mind, um, or I began with the end in mind to help me out. So I identified uh, things about cookies. So two sevenths of my cookie, okay, was flour. And then it said the remainder, the remainder is basically like saying the rest, right? So the rest of my cookie was butter, okay, and chocolate chip. So butter and chocolate chip make up, made up the rest of it. And then it told me that there's a ratio here. Now, this is not a fifth grade standard, which is why this is the challenge problem. It's actually a sixth grade standard and understanding what ratios are. Uh, we have an awesome playlist with our friend Bobby the Car Mechanic that you could watch um, that walks you step-by-step -step introduction to becoming a master in eight lessons. And then we also have a song about ratios that gives a quick overview of what it is. Um, that song's better if you actually know what ratios are just as a study tool and reminder, but go ahead and check those out. Um, but the quick rundown is ratios are a multiplicative relationship between two different numbers or quantities, right? So it's comparing the um, parts of butter to the parts of chocolate chip, chocolate chips. And then it gave us one more thing. It said that the chocolate chips, or CC, were uh, weighed 200 more, not 200, 200 more grams than the butter. Okay, so that's going to come into play later. I see right now I'm going to have to have an additive comparison part or maybe just an additive comparison model. I also see I'm going to be doing a multiplicative um, tape diagram because that's what ratios are. So we just use that toolbox that we already know. But I'm going to start by organizing my information first, which was, let me get a different color. I had a cookie. Okay, here we go. Here's my ginormous tape diagram cookie of math. There we go. Um, so this is my one cookie one cookie, which if you watch the fifth grade problem, you can eat when you're two, according to Butler House rules. And I need to split this into seven because that's what my, oh, you want to do seven equal parts, but geez Louise, I'm having trouble today with this. Three, four, five, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not equal. Let's just pretend because I think my hands are a little jittery from not drinking my coffee this morning and staying up late. Um, so I know that two sevenths of that cookie was flour. And then the rest was butter and chocolate chip, right? So BC, butter, chocolate chip, butter, chocolate chip, butter, chocolate chip, butter, chocolate chip. So the rest of this would be five sevenths. So five sevenths of this is going to be whatever my butter plus my chocolate chip was. So I'm done with that. I've labeled my uh, fraction model. So now I come down here and I see that I have a ratio and an additive comparison. So I'm actually going to combine these to form one super tape diagram. Tell me, give me some more space because I'm going to need it. I'm going to erase that. Then I'm going to make that a little bit small over there. Okay. So now 
Um, this is basically just a multiplication uh, tape diagram. It's going to be different than this one, so it doesn't have to be the same size, although typically you do want to keep your relations, uh, relationship between numbers the same for each problem. Sometimes it's just better to split it apart. And so here I have my butter, okay, and I have three equal groups of butter, okay, and again, I'm going to do my best to make it equal, but you never know. So here's my three parts of butter two seven parts of chocolate chip, right? So for every three butters I had, or three parts of butter, excuse me, I'm going to have seven pieces of chocolate chip. So it's comparing these using a multiplicative tape diagram, because like I said, ratios are a multiplicative relationship. So I don't know anything else other than they gave me one number, that chocolate chips were 200 more than butter. That means whatever I used for my chocolate chips is going to be 200 more than the butter. The difference between those is 200. So once I set that up, and again, the, the red and the black tape diagrams are completely separate. So don't look at the relationship between them. I'm just going to use the black tape diagram to help me figure out where my answer should be because I'm looking for the total mass of the cookie. So yeah, this was one, one cookie. But actually, I mislabeled that because that should be where my question mark is because I'm looking for my total mass of the one cookie. So yes, it is one cookie, but I mislabeled it. So when I look at this, I see that I have one, two, three, four equal groups that was equal to this 200 because if it was four pieces longer and if it was 200 grams more than, that means these four pieces have to equal 200. So if I take these 200, I divide them into four evenly, that means each part of this is going to be 50, which means because it's a multiplicative re, uh, comparison tape diagram, all the parts are the same, right? And so each of these is going to be 50, which that's going to help me because now if I know that five-sevenths of my cookie was butter and chocolate chips, I can add up, okay, how much do I have total here, right? So what is the total of my chocolate chips and butter? So now let me erase my additive comparison model. Now I know my butter was 150 grams, okay? And that was 200 less than this, which means this should be what? 350, but let's double check. 100, 200, 300, 350, okay? Grams, I wanna label it. So when I add both of those together, that's 500 grams. So that means I have 500 grams total of butter in chocolate chip. And now I'm gonna use the same strategy I used down there. If I know that I have one, two, three, four, five equal groups. And I, when I added them all up, there were 500. That means if I divide the 500 into five equal groups, each of these parts of my cookie, each seventh is going to be 100, which means I had seven groups of 100. So my total mass is 700 grams, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So big thing about tape diagrams is once you've done a couple of them and you kind of start to see visually how you can use them, that it becomes easier and easier and e easier. So stick with us, check out tomorrow. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be great. When you get done with this math problem, please wash your hands, don't be touching your faces, right? If you're feeling sick, stay at home, and as always, stay safe, do math, I'm out.